Hello and welcome back to another one of your 3ds Max tutorials. So we're going to continue on with some more two-dimensional geometry that we can use to create some three-dimensional models or objects. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to maximize this viewport so you can see uh, clearly. I'm going to go over here to our command panel and why would, make sure that you're in the create command and then shapes and splines. So there's a drop down menu there, there's a number to choose from, just click on splines and let me see what we're going to do. Let's go with an A. It's a pretty complex curve that we can draw pretty easily. Okay, so did we just, I'm just, I have the left button held down. I'm dragging, let go, and then drag again and click. And then that's our shape completed. So we can see we have our shape. And our shape is complete as two dimensional, two dimensional geometry. So if you go over to your Modify tab, and we're just gonna, on our Modifier list, we're gonna drop down to Extrude, find E, and now we can simply extrude that by clicking and dragging, or by adding an amount, like so. I'm gonna turn off that, or we can actually delete that, if, we, if, we, if you're sure you, you don't want it. The little, the little trash can here beside, um, in, in a little row here, you have a little row below this command panel, and it says remove modifier from the stack, so we just eliminate that altogether. Let's drop down our modifier list again, go down to laid, and now we have our egg shape, which is complete. Okay. Then we go back in to our modifier list, and you can actually choose, you can have a segmented egg rather than a full a full egg shape, you can segment it pretty pretty easily, almost like a cocoon, and you can see that the wall thickness is, is now visible. We can edit, we can edit our um, our egg shape again by clicking on our egg, and we go down below, and you can see the the thickness here. Oh, sorry, wrong one. So you can see the wall thickness is now increasing and decreasing. So we can. Uh, we can we can have it as we as we wish. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out. I'm gonna go back here to our home view, and I'm actually gonna delete this egg out of the way, and I'm gonna show you some more some more geometry. Let's go back into our create splines, and let's go with an arc. So when we when we uh, by default when we when we draw an arc, it gives us our line, and then we can drag for our radius like so. I'm going to minimize this viewport so we can see everything happening in uh, in each of our each of our viewports together. I'm going to delete that and you can see down here by default when we create our arc it says end end middle. We're going to click on center end end and now I'm going to go over here to the top viewport and I'm going to pick where the center starts click and hold I'm going to drag to uh, to define the radius or the norm of um, of my circle or of my arc. So I'm going to click, then let go, and then we can drag around. So you can see now that's the initial point was our radius. So I'm just going to leave it there, and down here in our parameters we can adjust our radius from to, and I'm just going to change this to 180, so it's now a semicircle. Or a semi, yeah, an arc from a semicircle or a semi arc, if you will. So let's go back over here to enable in viewport in our rendering. So we can enable in renderer, enable in viewport, and then we can give this a thickness. So we can drag that up. I'm going to zoom out so you can see this. Uh, rather than a radial, I'm going to make sure that we're on rectangular, and then just drag it up like so. Now let's add some modifiers to this as well. We'll add a twist. Let me see if I just press T in our modifier drop down and find twist. We're going to twist it along our X axis. Okay, like so. And our angle, we can simply click and drag as we wish till we find a nice shape that we like. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to press G to eliminate the grid. So, 
another great little tool here I'm going to draw let me see I'm going to go back into our create tab I'm going to go on click on geometry I'm going to click on sphere and you can see here we have auto grid which is uh, not is not checked by default we're going to check that and if I start to draw it's going to draw on the face okay but I'm going to delete that again it's going to go into my snap right click on your snaps make sure you have midpoint checked okay press s and click on sphere and now we can see we have our center of the face of our uh, of our arc so it's going to click and drag like so okay so here's another great little tool we're going to copy this uh, this sphere along that curvature along the shape of that um, that object so I'm going to highlight the ball the, the sphere or the ball go to your tool menu go to align and spacing tool so see here we have um, we have a, a number of options to choose from let's give it say five and just make sure you click on follow and then we're going to pick a path so which path do we want to follow this is the path we want to follow and there's our spheres that have been um, arrayed or cloned along that along that path and we can change the number if we like six or seven or eight whatever you wish click apply we can close that down now I want to try and squeeze in as many different um, aspects into this tutorial as possible so I'm going to click on the sphere and I'm going to make every single sphere be one rather than grouping them so they can be selected as one I'm actually going to connect these so they're actually one object so you can see on our left we have nine spheres okay and number two and one is actually living in the same space so I'm going to delete number two okay so I'm going to click on the top sphere I'm going to hold down shift and click on the bottom sphere and that will highlight every single one together now over here in our command panel I'm going to drop down our rollout and go to compound objects I'm going to click away I'm going to click on one of our spheres I'm going to connect them so our operand is number one we want to connect it to operand we want to pick which operand we want to be connected so let's pick the operand and click on each of our spheres like so right click I'm going to zoom out again right click to cancel so now each of our balls have been selected and combined and connected to the one to the one sphere so I'm now going to click on this uh, this curved shape arc this twisted arc I'm going to click on that guy and then I'm going to go to boolean so now let's see it's prompting me it's going to subtract B from A so see in the parenthesis is A minus B so we're going to pick up and B and that's going to be our spheres so that's going to disconnect them so I'm going to zoom out of that I'm actually going to undo that for a second I'm going to show you another quick tool while we have a minute left a minute or a minute and a half left to spare so I'm going to um, cancel right click okay I'm going to click, click our spheres and I'm going to add a material to this I'm going to just press M so see here we have our our material material editor so by just going to go to some standard um, standard materials click on architectural here it gives us some templates I'm just going to go to a paint gloss I'm going to change this color to something nice and distinctive nice bright red okay I'm going to copy him over I'm going to give him a different name I'm going to call him number two and I'm going to change the color of this to a green okay so red I'm going to um, connect, assign that to the material and the green I'm going to assign to the, to the strip assign that to the material like so and there we go so now when I click on the band and go to boolean subtract A from B pick up and B that's the ball see match material ID to material okay so now we can see that the red from the balls have been left on has left their mark on the inside of the strip and I'm just going to toggle this I'm going to rotate this strip around 180 degrees and that's fine and there we have it
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in the next tutorial.